You're watching Veg TV. In the Veg TV kitchen today, we're making two dishes with Marokan soy ponzu. Premium soy dressing with sadachi citrus adds depth of flavor and so much character to so many dishes. The first thing we're going to make, cold sesame noodles. It's a terrific appetizer, a great side dish, and it's really easy to make. I've cooked 12 ounces of linguine in boiled salted water. In this two cup glass Pyrex, a half cup of hot vegetable broth. To that, I'm going to add a third of a cup of the soy ponzu, that's Marukan soy ponzu, three cloves of garlic, a teaspoon of ground ginger, a teaspoon of Sambal Olek, that's chili paste. It's a special kind of chili paste, really tasty, very hot. Two teaspoons of sesame seed oil, half cup of creamy peanut butter, To that, I'm going to add a half cup of thinly sliced scallions and a half cup of chopped fresh cilantro. I'm going to mix that together. Now I'm going to pour this over the pasta like this and mix it together. Make sure it's mixed thoroughly. You wanna make this maybe a couple hours before you serve it, maybe an hour before you serve it. Let it chill a little bit. Another half cup of chopped fresh cilantro, like that, so much. Just a little bit of a garnish. And another half cup of sliced scallions. And that's all there is to it. And now we're gonna make grilled marinated portobello mushrooms. Grilled marinated portobello mushrooms, absolutely delicious, tangy and meaty and flavorful and so easy to do. One six ounce package, sliced portobello mushrooms. Did you know that portobello mushrooms are just mature cremini mushrooms that they left grow really large? So in this two cup glass Pyrex, we have a half cup vegetable broth, three quarters of a cup of the Marokan soy ponzu. It's a citrus soy that's really delicious. To that, I'm going to add a third of a cup of tamari, one clove of garlic, a rounded tablespoon of fresh chopped chives, two tablespoons of chopped fresh cilantro, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, and an eighth of a teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper. Now that's important. If you're not using coarse ground black pepper, use a scant eighth of a teaspoon. Mix this all together. You don't need that many ingredients because the soy ponzu is really flavorful. I'm going to pour this over the sliced portobello mushrooms in a non-reactive bowl, that means glass. We're going to set this aside in the refrigerator for about an hour. You'll want to turn them over, shake it every once in a while. I like to leave it overnight. I'm gonna take these to the broiler and broil them for about three minutes per side, and we're good to go. 